Hello everyone, this is Sakshi and you're watching Flavors. In today's Christmas special episode, we are making Christmas cookie cups. Now these are very different and innovative as we have a base made up of chocolate cookies which is filled with a Christmas flavored Shrikhand. So let's get started. We're going to begin with preheating our oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. So here I have a baking tray and these are the cupcake molds which we usually use for making cupcakes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them over and place them on the baking tray. Next I'm going to use this cooking spray which is cooking oil and just spray the molds behind. I wouldn't need more than six, I'm just going to spray six of these. Now you have to be generous over here. So just ensure that all the sides are well completed. Next step is to make the dough for the tarts or the cups. So I have a video on how to make chocolate chip vegan gluten free cookies. This is exactly the same dough but I've just taken wheat flour and dairy milk instead in the same proportion. So we're going to just make this dough very well together and you can definitely go ahead with the vegan and gluten free option. And with this dough, we'll make the cups. So we're just going to take probably a tablespoon and a half of the dough. Roll it out, smoothen it and flatten it in your hands. And then place them over these cupcake molds. So we want to flatten this until they are quite thin. And just smoothen it out with your fingers. And then place it over the cupcake mold. I think I'll need a little bit more so I'm just going to take 2 tablespoons of the dough and fatten it and then make a very proper base for the cups. Now just ensure that this is very even and uniform because we don't want the tarts to be like thick from one side and thin from the other right? So now this looks perfectly done and we're going to proceed go ahead with making the others too. So these are all done. I could make five of them since these are pretty big. So I couldn't make six. Next step would be to take a fork and break these molds very well. Because we know they'll be put in baking soda inside, right? So these are going to puff up but we don't want them to lose shape. So with the fork, they will it will prevent them from puffing up. Now we want to bake these at 180 degrees Celsius for nearly 12 to 15 minutes. And once baked, they will definitely expand in size and will get a beautiful golden brown color too. You want to gently flip them out of the mold and you see that they've got a very good shape. They've holded their shape and a good color and they've been perfectly baked too. Next, we're going to make the Christmas Shrikhand. For which, they have a mix of dry fruits which is cranberries, raisins, glazed cherries, tutti frutties and prunes a tablespoon of each which have been very finely chopped then we have a teaspoon of orange zest um, which is grated orange peel one tablespoon of um, chopped almonds or crushed almonds one tablespoon of chopped pistachio one tablespoon of chopped walnuts and 100 ml of orange juice this is fresh orange juice but you can also use the ready-made one We'll also be using some winter spices, which is a little bit of cinnamon, ginger powder, clove powder and nutmeg. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take a pan and add in our orange juice. We then want to add in our dried fruit, cranberries, prunes, raisins, tutti frutti and glazed cherries. A teaspoon of grated fresh orange zest, pistachio, almonds, walnuts, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon ginger, one eighth teaspoon cloves. We will then grate in some nutmeg, nearly one eighth teaspoon. A very nice flavorful mix ready 
I just give this a very good mix and I'm gonna let this simmer on a medium flame for 7 to 8 minutes until most of the orange juice is evaporated and the spices and the dry fruits are blended well together. So this basically is the Christmas pudding mix which we're gonna make a shriekhand of it and you can add in your sugar uh, if you're using brown sugar into this or else if you're using the powdered sugar normal one we'll just add it at the time when we're assembling the shrikhand. So this is now done and ready. We can off the flame and let this cool completely. Then 1 8 teaspoon of salt. Now we'll assemble our shrikhand. So here into a bowl, we're going to add in our hung curd, which we uh, left overnight in the refrigerator. Most of the water has been drained out and this has become very nice and thick. Then we're going to add in this prepared um, Christmas mix, all of it. And I'm going to use this artificial sweetener, but instead you can use uh, 3 tablespoons of powdered sugar and add it in. So currently I added in 2-3 to three sachets of the sugar and we're going to gently mix this to ensure that the hunker doesn't become loose, right? So currently I have these butterscotch balls, so I'm going to add in 1 tablespoon of these, it's completely optional and you can also replace it with chocolate chips. So this has been mixed and ready and it's got a beautiful natural colour. We're going to place the mixture into this piping bag. So for assembling, we're going to use our cookie cups. So I just cling wrap these and place them in the refrigerator. Um, since I had to, since I baked these yesterday and I'm assembling them today. So this has also been placed in the piping bag and I have cut it from the beginning. So we're going to now place this inside the cookie cup. So this has been done. So all our um, tarts are ready and we're going to now garnish this with some melted chocolate. We're just going to do this in an abstract way. We're going to then garnish it with a cherry and also some silver balls which are...